Hi everyone, um, it's Marla at Lake Avenue Designs and I'm back today to share uh, some 12 by 12 layouts that I've been working on. And I know mini albums are super, super popular here on YouTube and I love to do mini albums, but um, I love to do 12 by 12, the more traditional scrapbooking. I still love that and basically anything, anything scrapbooking related I'm going to try to do. So today I have 12 by 12 to share with you. And so this one, I just chose one picture, and I really made that the focal point of the layout. And the paper is from Basic Gray, and it's the Granola Paper Pack. And so they're all the coordinating papers from that pack, and I love that, those papers. And so this is a picture of my son at the zoo, and so I titled it Zoo Baby. And these are some chipboard letters from um, the Girls' Papery, actually, is where I got those. Um, I have some buttons up here with some twine. Um, the paper is really layered. When I do my 12 by 12 paper layering is what I really focus on more than the embellishments because I think it just adds so much um, complexity and dimension to the layout without having to add tons of embellishing. Um, so I just I always do lots of layers with different shapes and and different things. So that's what I did here. Um, this big photo mat I did some. Um, I did some tearing and and distressing on the edges. Um, you know, I love that technique. And this is my journaling spot, which I tied some twine around, and I haven't done my journaling yet, but I will right there. And um, this paper was pretty distressed to begin with, but I did go ahead and ink the edges a little bit more um, with my distress ink. And then... Um, here on the corner, I just have a few Prima roses. These are the gallery roses from Prima. I have a Tim Holtz um, Muse token that says Forevermore, and I tied some more twine on there. And then a Tim Holtz adage ticket that says Bliss. And so there's my layout. So pretty cute and pretty simple, actually, when you think about it, when you look at it. But I think the paper layering really makes it look more um, finished, um, in my opinion. So anyway, that's the first one, and then I have a more, even more traditional 12 by 24 spread, a two-page layout that I'm going to show you now. Okay, so here's a couple more 12 by 12s that I did, and this is a two-page layout, and it's hard to get it all in camera at once, so I'm just going to show you one at a time. So this is... In my book, in my 12 by 12 book, um, this is going to be on the left side, and then this is the, the other page that goes with it that will go on the right side. So now I'll just kind of break it down for you and show you what I did on each one. I still, um, you know, obviously I love, love, love mini albums, but I still do 12 by 12. Sometimes you just have pictures that you want to get down and get in your book behind plastic, and uh, maybe you don't have quite enough pictures for a mini album, or, um, like, for instance, with these, I didn't really want to cut them down too much. I love the 4 by 6 size, and so I decided to do 12 by 12s with these. So, um, let me start with the paper I chose. This is from the Complete Boy paper collection from my mind's eye, and I used this on my paper bag mini album of uh, my husband and my son that I showed you recently. And I'm sorry about my voice. I'm um, getting over a cold, and it's still kind of scratchy. So that's the paper, and again, I did some layering with the paper that I talked about before. Um, and so my title says, Just Fishing with Dad, and so I used some stickers for the fishing, and I used my dyno label maker for the rest of the title. Um, I tied some twine here. Um, this is a die-cut piece from a crepe paper um, boy collection that I have, and I thought it went nicely with the paper here. And so just layering my um, my photos and my paper, and, you know, I did several photo mats on this, this picture to make this one stand out. So that's kind of how I did that layout. And now the second page are just some additional pictures. So I didn't need a title on this one. Um, so I just did some journaling over here. It says, Gavin's first time fishing. He just loved using his new fishing pole, July 2010. I did some buttons. Um, this is one of my favorite pictures of them. He was saying cool and putting his thumbs up. And um, this is a Tim Holtz um, grunge heart that I distressed. And I tied with some twine um, a Tim Holtz um, Muse token. 
And then down here, I just had all these little pictures, and these were all four by sixes of my son just playing, um, playing in the dirt, playing with his fishing pole, just playing by the river. And so I cut them all down to two inches, and I just lined them up here. I thought it was kind of cute. And so again, some paper um, in the background that's layered to give it some dimension, and there's my two-page spread. So, um, I hope you guys give it a try if you've never tried 12x12s. 12 12. They're actually really fun, and they, um, they go pretty fast, and um, I really enjoy them still. So when I do a 12x12, 12 12, if you guys want, I don't know, I don't usually share my 12x12s, 12 but if you want, I can share them in the future if, if it's something you like. If not, I'll just stick to mini albums, and um, I have lots of those, too. So um, that's it for now, and I hope you guys are having a good week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.